Today we're here with the legendary Ryan Hartman, <laughs> Brooke Moria innovator, Luchi master, and my personal coach. So I already introduced you. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, you know, Ryan Hartman, you know, playing, playing Luchi. I don't know what else I have to say. <laughs> Wait, where are you from? Just... Oh, I'm from Chicago, you know, I've been playing One Piece for about a little over a year now. First card game, so as I said, have a little success. Yes, yes, yeah. first card game. And before we could talk about his deck and stuff, I also want to shout out Kush over there for getting top eight. Let's go, baby. Yeah, from my Seattle, Washington. Oh my God. Yeah, that's, he also coaches Kush, too, so that's yeah, gas. Damn, gas. Uh, but, yeah, how do you feel about how do you feel about taking Lucci today, and would you take it again? Uh, yeah, it felt pretty good. I would definitely take it again. Uh, the, only, the only thing I was really concerned about was BY, and I dodged it anyways. So yeah, there was only, I think there was only one BY in top yeah, 32. there was one in top 32, yeah. Yeah, and so. And then, yeah, I don't know. All I faced, I faced three laws, and then Lucci is where I lost. So. Beat all the laws? Yeah, I beat all the laws. So. That didn't get in bed, but we killing it anyways. Yeah. That's fire, that's fire. And then you made it all the way to top four, right? How do you yeah. feel about your... Uh, top four games against Zelcom Zel from the Discord as well. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, that first game he high rolled the hell out of me. I high rolled him second game. Game three was really close, it could have won either way. Uh, yeah, that Esho went I it. saw you drop that Esho there when he played the Brook. I was like, holy shit, like this Esho might come in clutch. And then I thought, I thought it was because I knew we didn't have the Moria from the because how we played the last turn, so I thought the Esho might stick, but yeah. he ended up, I think he top decked the Moria, so top deck it's the all Moria good. I'm glad, I'm glad to lose up Ryan, though, so. Yeah, 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 I'm really happy. Uh, yeah, he's playing out finals over there right now, and then you're in top four, so that's really good. Let's go ahead and talk about your deck list. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go card by card on the list, so you can start us off. All right, uh, three spend them, you know, the searcher for CP stuff. Uh, I don't know. I was always I was always running three. I know some people like to use four, but I, I think last set I got pretty comfortable running less than four searchers with Moria, so I was always on three for this set. Okay. Uh, three Meppo. Three uh, Meppo, yes sir. I yeah, like that. You were definitely the first person to do this. Uh, I don't know. Suru was pretty underwhelming. I thought like the only time Suru ever really came in handy was if I was hard playing it. So Hell Meppo was always better. So three, I like it. Yeah, always sick to have in trash. Two Span Nine obviously helps you do like the most broken combo in the deck with. Uh, Moria, Rebecca, so I don't know. I I think some people have tried to do three. I don't really think you need two. I think two is probably fine. Two is fine type shit. Uh, three of the three costs. Ooh, you got the altar too, bro. You're really rich, bro. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably spending too much money on the altar. Being real, but yeah, I got the three cost bro. Three copies. I thought about doing four just because of RP Law, just because I felt like that matchup was like pretty sketchy and this card's like pretty good. Uh, I don't know. I ended up selling with three and it was fine. Yeah. Poor Becca, I don't, I, yeah, I wouldn't really go less than this. I like it a lot. Uh, you get so much value from it. It helps you combo with, really well with Brook and with Spandine. So that's that. Uh, Khalifa, 2K, CP. It's really good for filtering on your four down turn. I don't think I would cut that. I mean, I would cut potentially the other CP 2K down, but I think Khalifa is like way too important yeah. for filtering your trash. The other CP 2K, Kaku. It does come up, reducing three. It's like really nice. Uh, and I wanted to have eight 2Ks. I know other people have been, done like seven 2Ks and stuff like that. I definitely, wanted have, <laughs> I definitely wanted to have eight at least. I thought about even going to nine, but I was like, yeah, I might as well have eight searchable 2Ks. Uh, then Rob Lucci, obviously this card is insane. Yes, sir. Pop two units at once. Goes really well with Rebecca, goes really well with Moria. Do you think Lucci should get banned? I thought it was going to get banned. I thought one of these two cards was going to get banned. Uh, yeah, they hit neither they, of them. Though. They hit neither of them. They just hit the stage, which I was like, all right, I guess. But yeah, I definitely thought one of these two was going to get banned. They're both, like, insane. Five cost Savo, I think this card is, like, I don't know, this card's, like, crazy. It, like, wins you the mirror uh, more so than Moria, I think. Unless you get, like, totally out Moria at, like, four to zero or something. But this card, like, just turns turns their clears off. It's, like, so insane. And it's the same with Khalifa. It helps you filter. Uh, the Nightmare, Luffy. Nightmare Luffy, yeah, it was BY Tech and then I dodged it the whole weekend, so I think I played it, I played it twice in one game against an Anel. Um other than that, I just was using it as a 1k. I think that was the main thing, I, you said, like, people have been teching Isho, and then it's dead versus RP Law, but like, this is a good tech for BY and it has counter. Yeah, because it's still counter, And that was yeah. the main reason I wanted to try it, because I would always draw into my Isho's late game against RP Law and be like pissed. I'm like, this is yeah, stupid. Yeah, like, like, I just don't have counter. This card yeah. is just dumb now. But yeah, so that's mainly why I wanted to use this. And then, like I said, I didn't even play BY, so. Two of the six cost broke. Uh, I've been running three for a while. I would like to probably play three too, but three still, but I don't know. I had to cut, cut something to make space for other stuff, so. 
I don't know, it's really good in the mirror, it's really good against PY, getting around like the Sabo effect. Uh, I don't know, it's pretty nice. And then obviously we got four Moria. Four like Moria. Really best card. I don't know what to say else besides that. It's like best card in the game. They didn't want to ban it. It's fine with me. <laughs> uh, Isho, I, I hate this card. Uh, yeah, I hate it too, bro. I play, <laughs> I've gone back and forth the whole time, this whole set. Like I was playing it for a while. I was like, oh, you got to play two of this card. And it's so good against everything. Then I was like not playing it at all, which I'm going to do again. And I like last second I was like ah, for BY I just wanted to take another eight boss and I did it and then I didn't I played it I played it in two games I played it against Abani in round one which yeah like it was fine I was winning that game probably anyways and then I played it in the last game in semifinals hoping that it would stick and it didn't yeah it didn't yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels but, so bad in the mirror when you play it it just yeah, don't stick bro so, yeah, yeah. Uh, finger pistol this card is yeah I was definitely hating on this card for the longest time. It's actually like really good. It came up a lot against RP Law. I guess like Kevin Zhao, I, I triggered it out of life twice. Yeah, you triggered <laughs> like it twice second, during the split session. That was crazy. Yeah, so I felt kind of bad about that, but also it was like, no, what can it you shit do? happens, bro. But yeah, it's super convenient for clearing more. It's just clearing, like, getting three, like a triple clear against like RP Law. It's like awesome. I don't know. I don't think I'd, I'd probably just keep it at two, though. But yeah, I like it a lot. And obviously, four Tempest Kicks. It's like goaded reduction. Uh, and then four Ennis Lobby. Same shit. Like, if you draw into this, it's like, if you get it early, it like changes the game, and it's like super important against RP Law. Uh, Type shit. So that's that's the full list here. So y'all take your screenshots or stuff, I guess, because that's the full list here, and I'll just pan it back up so we can close this out. All right, bro. So once again, bro, congrats on getting top four. <laughs> you uh, know what I'm saying? You, thank you. I, appreciate I think. It. What? Wait. Was uh, where was your was your last top also here? No, it was in Mesquite. Oh, it was in Texas. Mesquite. Okay, that was Texas. Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah. But yeah, once again, really good job. Are there any shout outs that you would like to give? Uh, yeah, shout out to you. Shout out to your Discord. Shout out to Kush. Shout out to Batista. Shout yes, out sir. Ray. Yo, shout Kush, Batista, Spoil. and Wraith all over here. Shout out to all the guys. Stingy right here. They <laughs> got that cereal Goku. Oh, yeah, he got a cereal <laughs> Goku. Yo, Which it's day, it's his top video. He's talking about his cereal <laughs> Goku, bro. <laughs> oh, we played the same list. What I can was your the record for you, event? What was your record? <laughs> Uh, X1, X1. X1, okay. X1, how many rounds? How many rounds? Ooh. Yo, you got a six round cereal, bro. Hey, that's good though, that's good though, that's good. All right, bro, thanks again. Thank you for your time and uh, you. right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you in Top Cut again. And uh, Stingy will give us the closing message. All right, I'll catch y'all in Toronto for Larkana. Me and Cross gonna be day two there, so. Uh, see y'all <laughs> <that shit. laughs>